Hey, hey, YouTube. It's Cotton Kraken back. We got Dragon Ball The Breakers. New balance adjustments. This video helps you out. Leave a thumbs up. Tell your friends about it. If you're new here, subscribe while I read you the breakdown of the adjustments. We have made a number of adjustments to the game's balance based on the current state of the game. Multiple battle parameters were adjusted to, dec to decrease the odds of the Raider being defeated. Several adjustments were made to make fighting during defense phase easier in order to prevent the Raider from being unable to react and subsequently losing a match when being surrounded by and fighting against multiple survivors. Changing the time in various systems in order to adjust the rate in which each match progresses and survivor speed increases while they level up during a match. Alright, alright. Sounds like they're trying to slow the game down a little bit. Adjustment to Raiders' close range attacks. The Raiders' rush damage has been adjusted to be roughly equal at each level. Okay. Instead of concentrating the damage value at the final stage, the Raiders' rush damage has been adjusted so the damage value from each attack increases starting from the first attack. The Raiders' rush will be cancelled by attacks and skill used by the survivors. Alright. So I'm guessing like every time you attack you'll do more damage. Is that what this is saying? I think that's what this is saying. This will involve adjustments starting with increasing the number of cases that appear after the early part of the match. Alright, so maybe less item cases. They pop up, take longer to pop up. Adjustment to Raiders Key Blast made it easier to hit targets with the Key Blast after Evolution Level 2. The damage was also adjusted in accordance with different attacks damage efficiency and characteristics all right so yeah better key boss adjustment the raider super attacks lowered the cooldown time for each raider's evolution level for super attacks excluding ultimate super attacks okay made it easier to hit targets with the following super attacks from each raider level three cells gravity impact Level 4 cells all clear. Level 1 freezes death wave. Okay. Level 3 freezes crazy finger shot. Alright. Level 4 freezes death slash. I didn't think that needed an improvement, but apparently they thought so. Booze level 1 crush launcher. Booze level 2 innocence cannon. And booze level 4 vanishing ball. Cool. Other adjustments to Raiders. Increase the movement speed bonus that occurs when a survivor is in the middle of the screen while the Raider is locked onto them. Alright. So you run out really faster when the Raider is near you. When the Raider is already receiving a close ranged attack, reduce the damage taken by the Raider if another survivor with a if damaged, taken by the Raider, if another survivor... I think what they're meaning to say, that's a weird sentence. Like, if a low level chimes in on a close range attack on the Raider, it's not going to do as much, basically. Execute a close range attack at the same time and reduce the amount of time the Raider's movement is restricted when survivors use skills designed to impede movement repeatedly. Okay. So stuns, I guess, won't last as long. Certain ones, I guess we'll have to see in-game. More adjustments. Increase the amount of charge power needed to charge level 3. Decrease the amount of time that survivor's attack power will multiply when they reach ultimate dragon and charge. 
Decrease the amount that the survivor's attack power multiply. Okay, so I guess you just you're gonna do less damage at your charge level four. Other adjustment. Increase the amount of time needed to install a power key. Already heard that's a pretty big increase. Decrease the default speed in which your startup system gauge fills up. Okay. Decrease the speed bonus for the startup system gauge. So it's the time machine's gonna take longer. Increase the speed at which the startup system destruction gauge fills up. Won't take as long to blow it up. And decrease the rate in which the startup system destruction gauge lowers over time. So well, seems like they changed a lot of things because as I thought. It was extremely hard to win as Raider. I mean, on my streams, it seemed like survivors had like an 80 to 90 percent run weight. Maybe like I'm exaggerating a little bit, but that's definitely what it seemed like at least 80 to 90 percent. So let me know what you think about this patch. Come join us for Dragon Ball Breaker streams. Don't be lacking on your kind cracking.